hold on. Let me uh, start off by shouting out the, uh, the 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 women that did the game tonight. I, I heard it was unbelievable. Uh, Kayla, Kate, uh, Amy, uh, Megan, and Kia. I heard you guys did a great one. Shout those shout those beautiful ladies out. You know that's um you know it's a huge step in uh, in in our league and our organization. That's awesome for uh, for you know tonight. And uh, maybe they brought us the good luck that we needed. <laughs> Well done, Kyle. You're absolutely yeah. right. They were tremendous. The broadcast awesome. was top notch. Right, as expected. Awesome. As expected. Now, happy early birthday, first of all. No, thank you. <laughs> I, <was there. laughs> I, I hope you got your tea time set for tomorrow. No, we got to work, man. Uh, tomorrow is this kind of. Oh, JQ said no practice. Yeah. JQ said no practice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I haven't looked at my stuff yet. Yeah. With, with all the uh, with all the crap that's going on around the team and you, how did it feel walking off the court tonight? Did it feel any different and maybe a little melancholy? Uh, it was. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Usually I bullshit y'all. I'm oh, sorry, but it was kind of weird tonight. You know, not knowing what uh, the the next step would be. Just with, you know, understanding that uh, there's things that could possibly be done um, on the front of me and then other guys in our team and. In the organization, so it's kind of weird. I'm be honest with you, but you know, it was it was great to get a win. Uh, it was great. It felt good to be out there, and you know, it, it would have been, of course, of course, it would have been crazier if it was in Toronto. I'm, I'm assuming I, I would I would think, but uh, it was it was different tonight for sure. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen? Like, I'm not. Yeah. No one knows what's gonna happen, but it was definitely for sure different. Will Will you spend tomorrow morning in constant contact with your agent or will you just go about your life and let them call uh, you and tell you what happened? Yeah, I'll go about my life. I, I'll, always, I'll have an open line. My phone will be on. Um, he's in my favorite, so he, he'll get through when he calls. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'll live my life. I'll get up in the morning. Um, I'm sure my kids uh, have a great uh, gift for me. Um, uh, so, you know, I'm just I'm looking forward to, you know, enjoying the, the actual day of, you know, March 25th of it being my birthday and, you uh, that, that's the that's the bigger, uh, more important thing. All right, dude. Play, make make a lot of birdies tomorrow, pal. If I get if I get three, that's been a great day. There you go. I hope you get thirty. Hey, sure. I get thirty. I'm about to quit basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Right, buddy. Uh, we'll go to Michael Grange. Hey, Kyle. Um, just wondering. Like I, I was asking Norm this um, again. We don't know what's going to happen, but when, but when you look at what you've accomplished here in eight years, uh, what stands out? What do you want people to look back uh, or think about when they think of Kyle Lowry as a Raptor? That's like a when I whenever that time comes and I retire, whenever that is, that's that question. Um, I don't know, man. I, I I don't. I've never thought about it. And I, you know, I've said this to you guys a million times. Like I, whenever the time comes. I'll think about all this stuff whenever that happens. But, um, I mean, it's, you know, we'll, we, the story is not complete, put it that way, right? Uh, my career is not complete. My time in Toronto isn't essentially over. It's not, you know, the decisions, no decisions have been made. Nothing has been done. So, with that being said, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, truthfully. I, I don't know what I want. I just know that, you know, I've given a lot. And uh, I'll continue to give my all, no matter what. The, um, regardless, I mean, you haven't played in Toronto for a long time, and who knows when you're going to play there again. Uh, what, do, what do you miss most about Scotiabank Arena? And uh, as you can imagine, what the crowd might have been like tonight. You know what, man? What I do truly, I truly miss the fans. Like, I miss the fans. You know, I miss just the, the, the atmosphere, right? The energy, just the overall, just the, just being there, right? I miss, you know, that Romeo at the uh, at the elevator giving me dap and, you know, just everybody being around and while Bill running up and down holding the doors open for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's the small things, the minute things that people don't know that's like the internal stuff that, we, we go to deal with every day, right? We got we got our chef Ali up there that, you know, comes down and gives us food and all that type stuff. And just the whole everything that's going around, you know, I miss Gus, every, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you miss everything. <laughs> you miss the small, minute things. Appreciate it, Kyle. Right. Best of luck, man. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Ain't no good luck. Uh, God, ain't no damn luck. Uh, if I golf, it'd be good luck, but you know. <laughs> Everyone needs luck, Kyle. Everyone needs luck. Everyone needs luck. Whatever will be, will be. Whatever will be, will be, honestly. Um, that's the truth. Whatever will be, will be. Um, 
you know, at the end of the day, everything happens for a reason. And you can't control everything, you know, in some situations you can. But everything, you know, every decision that has happened that I have had a you know, choice in doing, it's worked out for me very well. And, um, you know, everything will be, everything will be fine. At the end of the day, everything will be fine no matter what happens. I'll ask you a question that's at least slightly related to the game tonight. Um, you, you were plus 42, the highest of your career, the highest in, in a game by anybody this season, second highest in Raptors history. Um, obviously, it's not a tell-all stat plus minus, but it has sort of indicated throughout your career the impact that you have on a game. How much have you tracked it? plus minus throughout your career. It got me back to probably even from the last like four weeks. <laughs> I had a minus 25 the other day. So it probably got me back to even. So, I mean, I, I, I don't I, I look at it and, um, you know, a lot of it is not just me. It's just me being on the floor with the teammates. Like tonight, honestly, like I shot five shots and didn't care at all. And because Freddie played well, Norm played well. OG played well. Pascal played well. I mean, our starting lineup was unbelievable. We shot it over whatever the percentages are. OG is 50. I mean, Norm was whatever. Like, that stuff is, like, cool to me. And, you know, if I'm the one that's sacrificing for those guys and for the team to be better, that's what it. That's what matters to me. Um, to be a plus 42, I don't, I, I, that's a crazy number to me. And I've seen that. Mark Jackson was a plus 46. I'm mad I didn't get you know, four more. But... You know, we got to win, and that was huge. That was a, a, a real-life uh, huge thing for our team. I appreciate it, as always, Kyle. Happy birthday. You look pretty good for 30. Uh, to 30, that looked great. 25, actually. Have a good night, man. Good night, bro. Uh, next question goes to Eric Curry. Hey, Kyle. How's it going? Good. How you doing, Eric? I'm all right. Uh, I'm going to put a pause on the uh, Kyle Lowry uh, memory tour. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe a different sort of memory. Uh, maybe, you know, if I could editorialize, you've had a few moments where you've disagreed with some coaches and some management sorts uh, over your time in Toronto, maybe one or two. Pause me, pause me for one second, Jake, you, please. Hold on, they, they, you guys, we have a, a special guest here. <laughs> I just want to know if you guys, if you guys have any, I, I'm here to um, translate. I'm his translator. <laughs> you know you're not. No, I, I know you're not. I'll hit you when I'm done, bro. All right, y'all right. right, can keep going. I'll, uh, I haven't been interrupted by Drake so far. Okay. Um, so, I, I mean, you've had some issues with coaches. You've had some issues with management. You've gotten past all of them to obviously really, really good results. Uh, we heard that something happened with Pascal and Nick. Uh, what would you, who has some experience dealing with that, just tell Pascal about, you know, working on those relationships to make it the best possible for his career and the team? You know, uh, that's a good question. And, you know, of course, you know, it's good to, to talk to myself in a, in a, I guess, in a good, bad way. But um, I think just, as you get more mature and you learn how to channel your energy and, 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 and communicate better, right? You know, we're all at, at the point of Pascal, he's still a young man, right? He's still kind of living his life and, and going through, you know, ups and downs and, 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 and becoming this guy of, you know, maximum an all-star, a max player um, to also becoming a more of a man, right? He's becoming more of a, a person that takes care of his family. He has to make decisions in life. He has to worry about, you know, think about investments. He has to do this, that, and the other. And the way you handle it is, you, you know, you just keep growing, right? And, you know, sometimes you make mistakes. And the biggest thing is you learn from whatever happens, right? I've learned from so many different things in my life, the mistakes that I've made, um, the decisions that I've made, uh, I, I've learned from them, and you know, you only can continue to get be a better person. And that's like I said, you know, it is what it is at that point, and it, that's nothing. You know, coaches and players, you know, they disagree. Coaches and players and players disagree. There's always disagreements. It's just how do you grow from it? Appreciate it, Kyle. Talk to you mm -hmm. Friday. Enjoy your birthday. All right, thank you, man. Thanks, Eric. We'll go to Tim Reynolds. Hey, Kyle. Um, so, has 
all this talk, I know you don't obsess over it, but you know it's out there. Mm-hmm. Has it been flattering or frustrating? That's a good one, Tim. I don't know. I, I kind of just, I don't know. Like, I literally don't know, right? Like, that's a, you know, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, you're being talked about, but dang, it's every two minutes you're being talked about. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, like, you know, you sometimes you want to have your own voice, but sometimes you want to live. But, you know, that's the world we live in, right? We live in a world where social media is, you know, a, a run of everything. Media, you know, kind of can be basically tapped in from anywhere, right? You can do media from, you know, sitting down on your phone and, um, you know, Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff can always continue to, you know, hey, your name's popping up. But at the same time, like you said, it's, it's awesome to know that people think you're this or that. But at the end of the day, you know, you still kind of want to be a human being and just, you know, you, you get emotionally like, dang, this is still going. But then you get it, you're like, all right, well, they're talking about me. So I guess any any press is good press, I think. Right, JQ? Sure. Sure. And I think this this might be similar to what, to what Josh Lundberg asked you, but what, what do you want? Like, what do you, if, if it was up to you at 301 tomorrow, what would you want? I don't know. I wish I could give you a decision. At the end of the day, I'm going to, uh, you know, have a decision or and work it out. And if something happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't, right? Everything happens for a reason. I personally, right now, I don't know. Um, I haven't really put too much thought into it. You know, uh, my agent's pretty, really, he's really good at his job. And a lot of decisions that, you know, he'll look at and he'll help make that facilitate decisions and, you know, choices and talk about everything. But, you know, right now at three or one, I don't know. I don't. I don't really about. Just, what is it? Barely eleven o'clock now. So, uh, we'll, we'll we'll get home. Let's have dinner first. Then and then I'll start to digest the dinner. And then I I'll digest everything else. Happy birthday, Kyle. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate it. We'll go to Tim Bontemps. Happy boy. Uh, I guess early birthday. I should say, not belated birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm only turn. I'm only turning thirty. So, not bad. Um, I talked earlier about the journey you guys have both been on together over the past seven or eight years. And Who's that? Nick Nurse, your coach. Okay, Nick, your coach. Um, and I, I was curious, why do you think things clicked for you in Toronto the way they did and maybe in a way they didn't earlier in your career? Well, I think if you go back, right, Brian Colangelo traded for me to become the, the you know, I'm fortunate they didn't miss out on Steve Nash. Um, and he traded for me to become the point guard. And, you know, I, I got here and Jose was still here. And, um, you know, the trade was made for me to be given the keys, right? And um, honestly, like, you know, I wanted to take advantage of that. Masai and Bobby and those guys came in the next year and they, you know, cha- Masai challenged me to become a better player and better person. And, and that was big for me to, you know, be given the keys, right? And then Casey, you know, me and him, you know, didn't see eye to eye directly because, you know, Casey was, was an old school guy. And, you know, he didn't want to pull up threes and all that stuff. And I think it just, it more so clicked just on the fact that like, you know, they believed in me, right? The organization believed in me from top to bottom, you know, from, you know, Larry Tannenbaum and, and, and Bell and Rogers down to, you know, you know, all my teammates, right? And then, you know, cause everybody's, you know, from that, from top to bottom, they believed in me and, and what I could do um, as an individual, as, as a leader and as a player. So I think that's really what helped you know, kind of, you know, click everything, put everything together. Thank you, sir. Good luck tomorrow. Hey, Kyle. What's up, Steven? Uh, uh, have, have happy early birthday to you, and um, you know, have fun on the golf course tomorrow. For first of all. Thank you. Um, I, I I asked the other guys the same question, but like, come what may tomorrow, no matter what happens, is, would there be a sense of relief just knowing that like this the storm, the, like constant headlines every single day will, will just finally be over it'd be, it'd be great <laughs> once it's over honestly um i, I mean like tim kind of asked the, the, earlier it's kind of like one of the things where it's like you're flattered but at the same time you're like all right your name's always out there every single you know headline is this that and the other and that's a great thing right to to be able to be known as whatever this is that it, what it is and um Whatever happens, happens, and yeah, it'll be over. And you know, a lot of the hoops hype, you know, you guys be tweeting and stuff like that. All that stuff will go away, so it'd be great. Thanks a lot, Kyle. And and again, uh, try 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 to 
try to get, get a hole in one or whatever. I'm not, I'm not a golfer. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Hole in one. Yeah, hole in one. You're right. Steve, you're good. Steve. <laughs> you got that. Hole in one. There you go. Albatross, oh. if you really want me to. Be <laughs> we'll try Mark again. Hey, Kyle, you got me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must have turned your Wi-Fi off or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I was trying to ask that Nick was saying that he thinks you'll go down as the greatest Raptor, and I was wondering how's that register with you, knowing what you've done for the organization and all the other great players that've been here. Uh, I don't know, man. I, it's a tough thing. Yeah, I can't call myself that. I'll let you guys decide those things, and you know, Coach, that's, that's super flattering that Coach would say that. And. Coach has been with me for eight, been here with me eight years, and you know our relationship has built and grown, and um, I've seen him become you know the coach he is today, and you know he's always been a great coach. We just continue to get better, right? He's always given me the confidence, and a lot of people you don't know me and me and Coach used to like Coach was used to be my workout guy, and we used to shoot together, and he used to give me the confidence to keep shooting and working on my shot. Um, you know, like you said, that that comment from him is flattering, is awesome. Um, but that's for everyone else to talk about. For me, it's just, you know, I've always done my job at a high level and try to continue to grow and be, a best, best, be the best basketball player I can be. Uh, any follow-up, Mark? I'm good, thank you. Oh, well, good luck with the golf tomorrow. <laughs> thank you, appreciate it. We'll go to Aaron Rose. Hey, Kyle. Um, Norm is one of the most valuable guys who could be moved tomorrow. Uh, Fred just got paid a bunch. Pascal got paid. OG uh, got paid. How does that make you feel? Uh, it feels, it makes me feel amazingly really happy. Like <laughs> these guys all got paid because they've become men and they've become better basketball players and they're growing. And for me to be a part of that is one of the best feelings in the world because these guys will be able to provide for their families forever. They'll be able to gener they're, they're creating generational wealth. They'll continue to get paid, and they're getting paid to do something that they love. That's important to me, and they're getting paid, and they're all great young men, and they're all going to continue to be great men in general. Um, and, and changing it up a little bit, um, when you see how you guys played tonight, you guys came up short so many times earlier in the season. Does it? make you think sort of what could have been if the ball bounced different a few times or maybe you played as well as you played tonight? Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, we could have a lot more wins, right? And, you know, unfortunately, we had got uh, hit with some COVID protocol stuff and, you know, we missed a couple of shots here and there, a couple of uh, foul on a, on a, on a three-pointer I gave up and go to state, you know, uh, Portland ball right out, Minnesota ball right out. I mean, these are things that you think about, but they're not going to be um, things that you just say, oh, well, what if, what if, you know, there are things that happen and then you just continue to just kind of live and, and grow by them. Thanks, Kyle, and happy birthday. Thank you, I appreciate it. We've got uh, two more for you, Kyle. We'll start with Vivek Jacob. Hey, Kyle. Uh, you're wearing a heart on your shirt. Nick yeah. was saying that uh, you play harder than anyone he's ever seen. Why is playing hard the thing you take most pride in? You never know when you're going to the opportunity is going to be your last time to play, right? You go on that floor. You know, you never know when the last time you'll be able to do play a game that you possibly that you love and you've given your all to, right? Um, you know, I'm not the tallest, I'm not the most athletic, and I'm not the, you know, whatever the fancy is. But I play hard, and you know, it's got me a long way by playing hard. And um, you know, I, I pride myself on being one of the hardest basketball players out there. No matter what happens, I know I gave my all, and. I, 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 don't, I won't regret anything I've done because I played my butt off. I played hard. I, I laid my body in line. I've done everything I could possibly do. So for me, it's, uh, you know, that's just something I live by. I grew up like that. My brother told me, my mom told me how to just play hard. And you go out there and just outwork people. Thanks, Kyle. Happy birthday. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll go and wrap up with William Liu. Hey, Kyle. Um, obviously, tomorrow is your birthday, as we've said like 26 times on this call so far. Um, obviously, like birthdays are always like a time to like reflect, right? And you came to Toronto at the age of 26. You're turning 30 again to tomorrow. Um, hey, smart man, you're going to get a good answer from me. <laughs> I mean, like putting aside just like the basketball and all that stuff, like how much do you think you've grown as like a man during that time? 
Uh, it, you know what, man? I, when I got here, I just my, my youngest, my oldest shoe, Carter, was just turning one, right? And he just was turning one, and it was like my first year here. And um, you know, it, you can't measure out how much you've grown, right? You can't you can't put a measurement on how much you've grown, right? You just can't, like you. But I've become a, a real life man, like you know, like I. I'm a man, like I, I take care of my family, like I am a man, like I, I grew from an immature kid trying to find his way and oh man, why is everybody this, that and the other to all right, man, all right, how do I help this young guy get better? How do I help, um, you know, this this guy get paid? How do I help, you know, give my knowledge of, okay, I did this when I was in this situation, when I got this done, how do I continue to help? And, you know, I was literally trying to figure out, you know, who I was, right? And I always knew my, I knew my niche was to play hard, but it's also like, how do you now, like me, how do I help everyone else? I'm not looking to just help me. I don't want, I, I'm good. I want to help everybody else and continue to help everybody grow. And that's part of the, the maturation that I feel like I've become, right? I've become a person that I want to help the world. And I've always like, you know, and I can help the world because I've been through so many experiences of, the good, the bad, the, the highs and lows. And I know I can help anybody. So it's just like, I've grown a lot. <laughs> Simple answer. And I, I thought I had a follow up question, but I just wanted to say, I mean, I'm the last one here. So like on behalf of everybody, honestly, we don't know what happens tomorrow, but just thank you for your time. You were super generous. Hey, today. Not, oh, hey, hey, but I appreciate it. I appreciate no, but seriously that. though, you got us a lot of wins, the championship, the cover. So we appreciate it from us, seriously. Hey, I, yeah, yeah, Mike Grange is crying, everybody. Look at my, I'm just joking. I'm <laughs> Thank you, guys. Come on. I appreciate you guys. Have a great night, everyone.